Hi everyone, I'm going live. I'm just trying out, gone on live a little bit early just to try out. Just one minute, I'll just try to access my chat so I can communicate to it all. Yeah, I'm live. Uh, so if you have any query, anything, please feel free to ask. Uh, believe. Yeah, hi Muskan. Uh, hi Muskan. So if you have any queries, uh, feel free to ask Muskan. Uh, so we will be starting with the session in another uh, three minutes, uh, where I will be taking a topic. Uh, a particular approach which I normally follow to solve and I'll use that approach while trying to go with the class. Now I think my Webex is on, just hold on. Yeah. So we will wait. Mentorship batch should start in June end. So yeah, I have to give the details. I'll give the details maybe in a couple of days. You can join now, maybe access the videos. We will also have a hundred batch which will start now. But a pure mentorship batch should start by June end. That should be give us yeah, I do. Right. Uh, cool. I'm assuming that your preparation is going on fine. Yeah, anyone has queries, anything that you want to ask, feel free to ask. Uh, yeah, Rivas, maybe uh, I will put in the details of mentorship by this weekend, hopefully. So, my next week, if you can contact, that will be great. Uh, not done any preparation, Muskan? Not too late to start. There is enough time to prepare. You can start right now and still prepare for the exam. I don't see a problem with that. A lot of people don't start because it's they believe it's too late, but no, it's not too late. There, there's enough time. You need to just plan properly and go about with your preparation. And uh, if you can plan properly and go ahead with your preparation, that should hopefully help. There is some particular lag which will be there when I speak and what you receive and what I see on the chat. So bear with it. Uh, Ritik, I think you answered the ask the question or someone has asked this question. The reason why uh, people have lower accuracy in RC despite understanding the passage is because they don't understand, they don't try to think from the author's perspective. You might understand what the passage says, but author has his own tone and own way of speaking. You need to try to understand the author's tone and if you are able to understand the author's tone, you will be better able to solve the sum. So the key is to understand the tone of what the author is speaking and that should help you to understand better. Yeah, hi Angela. Yeah, mentorship patch should start. So just give me a week's time, maybe next week, maybe I should have the details and then go about uh, trying to get the details for the mentorship patch. Not doing any internship is fine. It's not that you have to do an internship. Uh, you can still get into IAMS. It's how you tackle in the interview. That's the interview stage preparation. How to go about tackling the uh, your whole eye aspect of uh, you know internship topics, etc. Okay. So what we'll do is since it's 9:30 already, uh, maybe we can start with the session. Uh, I'm taking a particular approach. Uh, Today, this is sums on work and uh, sums on work is basically, uh, it is based on uh, percentage method. So what is required for this? I mean, as I, I repeat again, these are basically sums on work and the focus is the percentage method. So normally I say there are three methods which are there in work, time and work. One is a traditional method. Um, 
which is good but takes time you should know it second is the lcm method uh, which is good i mean which has lot of flexibility and lot of sums can be solved by lcm method third is the percentage method the percentage method is may not be useful in all the sums but wherever it is useful it can be really fast in solve you can save a lot of time a lot of people don't use the percentage method because it is you know not frequent you know it is can be used but it cannot be used in all the sums but i have seen quite a few sums in cat as well as other exams where percentage method can save you a lot of time and you can do it fast now what is required in the percentage method now one thing that is important in the percentage method is to be able to convert fractions to percentage which means if i say half is 50 percentage you should be able to know uh um uh, the yeah, i think i'm putting on the okay anyway half is 50 percentage one third is 33.33 percentage right one fourth is 25 percentage one fifth is 20 percentage you should be able to comfort uh, notice one sixth is half of one third one third is 33.33 One six is sixteen point six seven percent each. One seven, double of seven is fourteen. Double of fourteen is twenty eight. So fourteen point two eight percent. One eighth is half of one fourth, which is twelve point five percent each. One ninth and one eleventh are reverse of each other. One ninth is eleven point one one percent each, and one eleventh is nine point zero nine percent each. Recurring, but yeah. one tenth you know is ten percent each. One twelfth is half of one sixth, which is eight point three three percent. Apart from these, you should be able to solve one by twenty is five percent each. One by twenty five is four uh, percent each, and so on. So any percentage you want to calculate for one by twenty, what is one by twenty? Is nothing but hundred by twenty. Hundred by twenty is five percent. Same way, what is one by twenty five? Nothing but hundred by twenty five, which is four percent each. Uh, this is what you should know. Converting fractions to percentage that normally helps in solving things faster. So let's take a few sums. So I'm going to take around seven sums I believe today on this. A few which have come in the CAT in the past, so that you understand first the concept and then maybe how to apply it. Right. So we start with the first sum. Go through it. Try to look at it and see how to solve it. Uh, Why you left making CT videos? Ah, uh, cut. Slightly busy with something else, and CT is getting postponed. So, takes time to make videos. I'll try whenever I get time. Maybe I'll see if I can make videos, more videos for CT. But can't comment right now. But I mean, the sums, the sum fixing is not difficult. Can be solved. I'm just telling you how to solve it faster. That's the only thing that I'm trying to put across. Now, if you look at this specific sum, you can do the work in twenty days. Okay, I'm assuming you read the sum. So here, Q can complete the work in twenty days, and he worked for twelve days. So if he has worked for twelve days, so you can make out that two, one upon twenty. You should know one upon twenty is five percentage. So if he has worked for twelve days, so into twelve is sixty percentage work he has done. Okay, one day you can do five percent work. So if he has worked for twelve days, he has done sixty percent of the work. What is left is forty percent of the work, which is done by P. P completes the work in twenty-five days. Hundred percent work in twenty-five days. So forty percent of the work he will take ten days. So advantage of this method is you can do it orally. So when you solve, put an equation on a paper, it takes time to solve it. Anything that you put on a paper, it takes little time to solve. Because writing itself takes time. Any sum that you can do orally is always faster. This is twelve upon twenty, sixty percentage. Twelve upon twenty is zero point six three sixty percentage. So Q does sixty percent work. So automatically P will do remaining forty percent work. So forty percent of twenty five will give you ten B option. So the sum is easy. You can solve by normal method also. But what this method helps to do is maybe save a little bit of time. That little bit of time makes a lot of difference in your paper. But yes, the assumption is that you're good at calculations. When you want to do it mentally, we are assuming that you're good at calculation, and that should hopefully help you to solve things faster. Fine. We can go to next sum in that case. Six. 
same concept there is no difference in the concept between this and that I'm just trying to maybe give you a little practice of the basic concept before we can try to move on to uh, others more right now here if you look at it v has worked for 6 days is v has worked for 6 days so he can complete a work in 24 days so in 6 days 6 upon 24 he can complete 25% work do i cannot calculate 1 upon 24 well i don't know what is 1 upon 24 well, can approximate it but i know 6 upon 24 6 upon 24 is 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 4 is 25 percentage which means b here can complete 25% of the work if b completes 25% of the work 75% of the work will be done by a so 75% of 20 which is 15 days yeah if you solve and you get the answer you can put in the chat box so but yes this is how you solve uh i repeat again uh total work done by b is in 24 days b work for 6 days so 6 out of 24 is 1/4 that is b has done 25% of the work he has b has done 25% of the work that means the remaining work which is the 75% is done by a now a does 100% work in 20 days so 75% work it will do in 15 days so you get the answer as 15 We take the next. It may go a little bit more complex as we go, but that's the idea behind it. Try to make you understand how and what to do. So you. Yeah, if you solve it and if you feel you get the answer, you can put it in the chat box. Now, any new method that we learn, so I'm teaching you this new method. It takes time to practice. I mean, and get used to it. Initially, you may find it difficult, but as and when you solve, you should be able to do it faster. That's the basic idea behind it. So initially, you may find it a little difficult or maybe a little difficult to adapt to new methods, but normally works when you keep on practicing and you keep on getting used to the whole aspect. Coming to here, A and B working separately can finish the work in ten and eight days respectively. Okay, so when you say eight ten days, that means one day it can complete one upon ten work or ten percent of the work. B eight days, that means one day it can complete one upon eight work, which is twelve point five percent of the work. They both work for two days. I mean, together work they work for twenty two point five percent, and they work for two days, which is forty five percent. Do I'm writing it down? Maybe if you can do it orally, it could help. But that takes time. I mean, even if you now you cannot do orally over a period of time, you should be able to try to do it. Yeah, hi, Jenny. Yeah. So if you look at forty-five percent of the work is completed by A and B, which means how much work is left? Fifty-five percent work is left. Fifty-five has to be completed by A. So A completes the work in ten days. So fifty-five percent of ten will give you five point five days. That's the answer. B option. Right? Look, understand. You need to get used to this method. Just learn. Looking, looking at it doesn't matter. You need to understand, learn, and apply it to different type of sums. That's how it helps. Such. So again, I repeat. A can complete a work in ten days. B in eight days. So one day A will complete ten percent work. One day B will complete twelve point five. Because one upon ten is ten. One upon eight is twelve point five. to get it a complete 22.5% work so in 2 days we complete 45% work the amount of work left is 100 minus 45 which is 55 work is left so 55% of 10 will give you 5.5 days right clear just the i'm not looking at other methods right now this is just to under explain you how the percentage method is solved so now we take a few sum that have come in the cat And then look at how to apply it accordingly. Right. 
Yeah, but I'm assuming that you need to be good at calculation. You can do this orally, but uh, you should be able to uh, be a little bit good at calculation. Little bit basis. That's why I normally um, emphasize my students to focus on calculations. The calculation sheets are very important. Uh, I mean, I remember at uh, I normally have or normally sit for other people's lectures sometimes as such to learn what is happening. So someone had told me that calculation just make a difference because if you're not very good at calculations, you spend more time to solve max questions, which is not really good. So therefore calculation becomes important. Okay, coming back to this sum. Yeah. Now we have already solved a few sums on percentage. So that was those sums normally come in the speed based exam, like the C, T, D, N, M, A, T, S, N, A, P. You will see the previous sum normally will come in the speed based exam. Now this we are moving on to the CAT based exam, the sums that come in the CAT. Same concepts can be used in multiple sums. You should always look at concepts that can be used in different different kind of sums. So if the outlet pipe is closed and the inlet pipe fills the empty tank in eight hours, when you say empty tank in eight hours, so it becomes one upon eight or twelve point five percent. Remember half full here. Just saying for your idea answer. Look at half full. So inlet pipe will fill the empty tank in eight hours. So one upon eight is twelve point five percent. Okay, and uh, if the outlet pipe is open. In the inlet pipe fills one upon ten, which is ten percent every hour. So here it is twelve point five percent every hour, ten percent every hour. So that two point five percent, which is there, okay, this is only because of the inlet pipe. This is because of inlet and outlet. So that two point five percent is because of the outlet pipe. The difference, which is there, twelve point five percent minus ten percent, two point five percent is because of the outlet pipe. For us. So for hundred percent, how long will it take? Hundred percent upon two point five, forty hours. So if I want to look at half full, so half full will be twenty hours. First option, because they said becomes half full. How many times? This is also very important. People do mistake in just reading the question. If you cannot read the question, you tend to do mistake. A very common mistake. This is. Lot of or everyone does this, even including me. Where you solve the question, but then you read the final thing wrong, and you mark be a wrong answer. Do you have solved it correctly? So be careful with that. It's very important that you identify where you do your mistakes, and then try to improve on them. We're going with this question. One by eight is twelve point five percent because completes the work in eight hours. Hold up, inlet pipe alone, and both are open. Inlet and outlet both are open. Ten hours. So one by ten, ten hours. So this is just the inlet pipe. And this is both inlet plus outlet. So 2.5 percent per hour will be purely outlet pipe, right? So 2.5 per hour will be outlet pipe. So remaining so per hour. So for 100 percent, how long will it take? 100 percent upon 2.5 will take 40 hours. So 40 will be the answer. Yeah. Let's take one more sum on cat. Again, these sums can be solved by other methods. I'm only trying to tell you how to go about solving it faster. Look, in the exam like CAT, I can almost solve, I can solve all the questions on almost all the CAT examinations. I mean, I have enough time even after solving all the questions, and normally get a buffer time. And that is mainly because of the methods that are being used. So, what my whole idea behind this particular series is to help you to understand those methods that could help you solve faster. So go to this. Try to solve. If you get the answer, you can put in the chat box. So, Amal can complete a job in ten days. Bimal can complete in eight days, and all three together can complete in four days. So you have Amal, Bimal, Kamal, and together. I am writing this down, but technically you can do it without writing. Right? 
So if I look, Amal can complete in 10 days. That means he does 10 percent of the work every day. Bimal can complete in 8 days. So he can do 12.5 percent work every day. So you actually don't have to remember that 1 8 is 12.5. Because the moment you keep on practicing and doing it, it automatically comes in the mind. Right? Okay, 1 8 is 12.5. And this fraction to percentage is also useful in BI sums. In BI, this is also useful, you know, doing this fraction to percentage. So together they complete a work in four days. When you complete a work in four days, that means 25% per day. So that means the balance will be done by Kamal, which is 25 minus 22.5. This is 22.5%. So 25 minus 22.5, 2.5% is done by Kamal. So Kamal does one tenth of the work. The total is twenty-five. Kamal does one tenth of the work. So he'll pay paid one tenth of the amount, which will be hundred. First option. Right? Kamal can complete the work in ten days. So per day will do ten percent of the work, which is one by ten. Bimal can complete the work in eight days. So per day he can do twelve point five percent. Together they can complete a work in four days, which is 25% of the work. So balance is 2.5, which is done by K. So 2.5 out of 25 is one tenth of the work. So K can do one tenth of the work, which means he'll be paid one tenth of the amount. One tenth of thousand will be hundred. That's the answer for this. Cat 19 and the sum. So you should know 20 days means every day 5% work. If 20 days is 5%, 40 days will be half of it, 2.5% work. If 20 days is 5%, 40 days will be 2.5% work. Why is it 2.5 upon 25? Okay, someone was asking because total work is 25% and Kamal does 2.5% work. So we want how much Kamal is paid. So Kamal will be paid one tenth. Total work per day is 25% and Kamal does 2.5% work per day. So therefore it is yeah, 1 by 10. Yeah. Hope, I, hope you understand Nishi. Because we want Kamal's amount therefore 2.5 upon 25 which is 1 by 10. Yeah. Price for this. Once you get the answer, put in the chat box. Okay, so if you look at Anil, 20 days, so 5 percent work per day, Sunil, 40 days, so 2.5 percent work per day. Anil starts the job. So Anil works for three days. So Anil initial three days would have done five percent into three, which is fifteen percent work. Right. Bimal has done ten percent of the work. Remember, Bimal also came and Bimal has done ten percent of the work total. So these two put together is twenty five percent of the work. Anil's fifteen percent and Bimal's ten percent together they do twenty five percent of the work. How much is left? 75% work is left. And this 75% work will be done by Anil plus Sunil. So Anil plus Sunil does how many work? How much work? 5% plus 2.5%, which is 7.5%. Understand the whole process. Anil does starts for three days. Then after that, Anil plus Sunil start working. And last few days, Bimal works, which is 10%. So Bimal does 10% work, Anil has done 15% work. So this 25% work is done. So remaining is done by Anil and Sunil, which is 75% work. It's important to understand the sum. Just don't go by formulas. That will make you slow. It's very important that you understand the sum and then go about it. So if total 7.5% work and Anil plus Sunil can do 7.5% per day. So how long they will take to complete? 75% upon 7.5, which will be 10 days. So they will take 10 days to complete. 10 days, this is 10 days, plus the starting 3 days. So total number of days will be 13 days, first option. 
how many days was the job done total days so 10 days was anil plus sunil taking the work plus 3 days that anil took in the start therefore the answer will become total so key to understand the sum to know the right method to solve and be good at calculation you can solve the sum quickly fast that's what the key in solving the sum is a little different sum but yeah you can use percentage but the approach is a little different if you understand great go to it try to solve so what we done is we have tried to increase the difficulty level as and when we move forward the idea is uh, yeah you understand the concept and easy sums and then move on to difficult sums so that you can solve the cat problems so all concepts that are used in cat are normally simple the only problem is people are not used to it therefore they find it difficult because we are so used to all traditional methods while solving all the books use the traditional methods anywhere if you solve i mean even the explanation in the mocks are traditional methods so we are so used to traditional methods and uh, that's what we use while practicing they become difficult to change you need to force yourself to change that's what is important if you force yourself to change you can become better at it okay i'll explain this sum i'm not saying that this sum if you understand great if not you can i mean you can do by traditional method so a for the system in a tasks a right and along with a leak it will take 10 hours 10 hours will be along with a leak a plus the leak right that means in 10 hours a will fill 125% of the tank if a fills 8 hours it fills 100% so in 10 hours it will fill 125% okay, 10 upon 8 is 1.25 which is 125% that extra 25% which is there is removed by leak the leak takes 25% in 10 hours the leak which is there 25% in 10 hours because in 10 hours it has gone this 25% is gone so for 100% to empty it will take 40 hours okay option okay again but you can do by the lcm method that is also easy i'm just looking at the application of percentage so if i'm doing it orally i see a can fill 100% in 8 hours so in 10 hours we fill 125% where is the 25% gone the 25% is gone because of a leak so leak has taken off 25% in 10 hours so to empty 100% it will take 40 hours cross multiplication you directly get the answer is 40 right i hope this is clear so yes uh, i have taken a few sums on uh, on this particular topic i will try to take more sums as and when we go so go to it understand the concept understand it and then try to solve if you like it then let me know if any particular concept you want me to cover let me know on that Uh, put in the chat box and maybe I will try to cover it in the future. Right? So, thank you and good night. Mm -hmm.